Okay, so that is the first chapter. Uh, the second chapter is the development of 5G protocol standardization. To talk about the standardization, uh, we need to mention one organization. This organization is called 3GPP, uh, the 3G Project Partner. This uh, organization is from, uh, origination is from the Europe. And nowadays, it's already a globalized uh, organization. It, are, it is composed by a lot of institute and a lot of uh, vendors and uh, operators. The 3GPP uh, will uh, focus on the standardization uh, for the mobile communication. The very famous 3G, okay, uh, uh, specification uh, like this uh, uh, UMTS. It's just uh, uh, composed by the 3GPP. And also for 4G LTE also uh, is the uh, result from 3GPP. Yeah. And the 3GPP now are not working on 3G, you know, uh, 4G and 5G, and even in the future 6G and so on. Okay. Uh, about the 5G, we can say that 5G starts from 3GPP's uh, uh, specification release 15, okay. and we can look at this picture. The release 12, 13, and 14, these are on the LTE, okay. You can see LTE Advanced, LTE Advanced Pro. And for 5G, uh, we, can, uh, we can, I think we can still remember that the ITUT, IT, uh, ITUR, okay, defined the uh, 5G as IMT 2020, okay. And uh, 3GPP will just uh, realize this uh, requirement. Uh, and this uh, realization is from uh, 3GPP uh, release 15. Release 15. We can say that release 15 will be uh, the 5G. And the previous releases are just for uh, 4G, 3G, and 2G. From uh, release 15, uh, it is the 5G. And the 5G uh, can have uh, two paths for the evolution. The 5G can be one way from the LTE evolving to 5G uh, using LTE. Another is using a new radio, new radio technology. And nowadays when we are, we are talking about 5G, we are talking about this way, using the new radio. We can say that uh, release 15 okay, will be the first version uh, of 5G, uh, first release. Uh, it will define the basic functions. And the release 16 will be uh, enhancement. Uh, we can say well, release 16 will be the complete uh, 5G. And for the uh, technical uh, specification, uh, 5G uh, can be defined by uh, the uh, radio network and also the core network. Okay. The, the radio network we call the new radio, okay. uh, while IoT is called the uh, EU trend. And uh, for the 5G, we call it the new radio. That is about the radio network. And about the core network for LTE, it is called the EPC. Okay, EPC. And for the 5G, we call it the next generation core. NGC, okay, next generation call. That's all. So that's about the uh, release of 5G. In the year of uh, 2016, okay, 2016, uh, some operators from uh, the United States and uh, uh, Korea and Japan, okay, they formed the one organization, and this organization uh, is named as the OTSA, OTSA. Uh, the Open Trial Specification Alliance. Uh, their purpose is want to push the 5G standardization faster. Uh, they are not uh, satisfied with the 3GPP progress. They feel that it's very too slow. Okay, they want to push it faster and want to define their own standard for 5G. They are focusing on uh, the FWA, uh, the fixed uh, wireless access. Uh, Later we'll mention that again, okay. Uh, they will use uh, the 28 gigahertz uh, using this frequency to provide the F FWA services. 
and uh, their technical uh, development is mainly from LTE, okay, some enhancement of LTE, and they want to provide this uh, uh, broadband access using wireless okay, to uh, the users. And so this is the some uh, uh, operators, okay, they form one organization, uh, OTSA, they want to push the standardization, standard, uh, standardization uh, progress. Uh, and uh, under the pressure, uh, 3GPP uh, accelerates its uh, uh, step okay, for the protocol standardization. The original, uh, original progress is like this, 5G, uh, using two versions, uh, release 15 and release 16, okay? Uh, we can say that the release 15, we also call it 5G phase one, okay? And the release 16, we also call it 5G phase two. Uh, they re realize a different thing, so later we will mention this, uh, what uh, are realized by the uh, release 15 and what are realized by the release 16, okay? Under the pressure of the OTSA, because this one uh, uh, announced an another standard uh, we call it a V5G, uh, it's because it's from uh, Ver Verizon. Uh, it is a very, uh, 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 an operator from the, uh, the United States. Okay. And it's pressure, this uh, uh, 3GPP accelerates its pace, uh, paces for the 5G's uh, standardization. And the release 15 now are separated into three drops. That is the First time one release was separated into uh, three uh, small versions. Uh, its purpose is just to release earlier uh, from, uh, because this OTSA may diversify the standardization uh, for 5G. We can still remember for the 3G time, for 3G uh, we have uh, WCDMA, CDMA 2000 and uh, TDS, CDMA, and this lead uh, and not unify the standards, and later it caused some uh, redundant investment on the network uh, construction. Okay, so f for 4G is unified to LTE, and for 5G we also we hope that this standardization should not be diversified. Okay, we need a unified standardization. Okay, uh, so. The 3GPP uh, uh, separate this uh, release 15 into three versions. These three versions are called the three drops. They call it uh, early drop, main drop, and the late drop. Okay. Uh, the early drop is just a, a f focus on the NSA. Okay. NSA. NSA means non standalone. Okay. Later we will. Uh, study about what is NSA, what is SA, okay, NSA and SA. Ah. And uh, five, 5G uh, phase two, uh, we will focus on the uh, enhanced EMBB and uh, URLC, okay. Ah. So uh, it's about this uh, organization, uh, OTSA, which push uh, our uh, protocol standardization faster, uh, thanks for OTSA. Uh, and this organization is uh, uh, started from year of uh, 2016, okay. And uh, by the year, by the end of the year of 2017, uh, 3GPP has its uh, released, uh, its uh, uh, first uh, drop, the early drop. So uh, other uh, operators like uh, KT and SKT, uh, they join to the 3GPP standard. So actually this uh, organization was dissolved uh, by the year of uh, 2017. Only one year of life. Okay. Now all the operators are on the road of 3GPP standard, standard of, of 5G. And uh, about the release and the functions, uh, let's see this uh, page. First, uh, you can see uh, uh, our 5Gs uh, are realized by release 15 and release 16. And the release 15 can be 
divided into three drops. Okay, early drop, main drop, and the late drop. Uh, the early drop focus on NSA, late drop focus on SA, and uh, uh, main drop okay focus on SA, and late drop will uh, focus on some uh, network options okay like option four and option seven. Uh, the NSA the f early drop was frozen. Uh, by the end of uh, 2017. That is to say NSA can be commercially launched by the year of uh, 2017 okay, because the protocol is frozen uh, by that time. And uh, the main drop was uh, frozen uh, by the middle of 2018. In the year, uh, in the month of uh, June, okay, by the month of June, like in 2018, and late drop was uh, finished, was uh, frozen uh, by the March of 2019, and the release uh, 16 now is still uh, in the progress. Okay. It will be uh, uh, frozen, okay, by the end of uh, 2019, or maybe, okay. Uh, in the beginning of, of 2020, okay. uh, still in progress, not frozen. Uh, so nowadays, all commercial network should be uh, based on release 15. Okay. And now, all the commercial network are now based on NSA uh, for the early drop. And SA, there is only some uh, trial network. So this is about the uh, release and uh, the content uh, of these releases, and uh, the R5, uh, R15, uh, release 15, we see is the basic version of phase one uh, of 5G. It uh, uh, defined the architecture or framework of 5G. Okay, uh, uh, defined a new waveform, a new monology. A new monology is just uh, the subcarrier uh, spacing. 5G has a flexible Subcarrier spacing, uh, frame structure, coding, modulation, and channel, and a massive MIMO and a flex duplex. Okay, uh, that's about the, the radio part, new radio, and for the natural architecture, uh, uplink and downlink decoupling. Okay, this is a uh, uplink and downlink. Uh, we may use a different frequency band, and the CUDU high level segmentation. Okay, we also call it cloud RAM. Okay. And the NSA and an SA, uh, that's uh, the architecture of the core network. And also uh, in the release 15, it uh, defined the basic design of a URLLC. Now this URLC is only the basic part defined. It cannot be commercially uh, used uh, in this version. Okay. The, the URLC can be commercially used uh, on, in the release uh, 16. Okay. And take a look at the release 16. We say like, release 16 is a complete uh, com competitiveness okay, for the uh, 5G network. It uh, may define the new multiple access. Okay. Uh, this is for the uh, I IoT, okay, more access. And uh, EMBB uh, sub 6 gigahertz enhancement uh, is some uh, enhancement for the handover. And a self backhaul uh, is for some uh, uh, transmission. Okay, uh, and uh, this is for the new radio and for the industry digitalization uh, functions of R16. It uh, will define this uh, URLs enhancement. Uh, uh, after this release uh, 16, the URLs can be commercially deployed. And the MMTC, uh, MMT uh, actually uh, in the release six, release uh, 16 now uh, has already stopped. Okay. Uh, it will not uh, define more uh, things on MMTC. Uh, and the MMTC will continue on release uh, 17 and then later. Okay. And uh, D2D means uh, device to device, uh, device to device communication. And a V2X is a vehicle, uh, vehicle to X means everything, okay? Vehicle to vehicle, vehicle to network, vehicle to person, 
uh, v equal to infrastructure. Uh, so this is a vehicle uh, uh, internet of vehicle uh, D two D is also included in the V two X, and the I unlicensed uh, means the uh, interoperability uh, between five G and uh, uh, unlicensed uh, spectrum like the Wi Fi. Okay, the interoperability uh, from five G to um, Wi Fi. Uh, so this is about this uh, uh, functions defined in uh, release 16 